Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today is going to be a campfire rant and it's gonna be on a really cool topic. And it's what all RVers love to talk about around the campfire. And that's doo-doo. That's sewage, toilets, and poop. So get ready for this one. Hey, if you like these campfire rants, don't forget, go check out our playlist. We got tons of campfire rants. We go over everything like why you shouldn't buy a Black Series or, you know, what why you might not even want to buy a trailer in general because it might not be for you. We go over the industry quality versus, you know, poor quality. We go over tons and tons of different topics during these uh, campfire rants. Sometimes I'm ranting. Sometimes I'm just trying to be educational. Today is going to be more of an educational one, not so much of a rant, but it's about toilets, toilets, toilets toilets so I want to talk about toilets what's the best toilet in the world when it comes to RVing and camping well the answer is there is no best toilet in the world <laughs> that's just a matter of opinion it's like saying what's what's the best color in the world well everybody has a favorite color or what's the best bed in the world everybody some people like soft beds some people like hard beds or firm beds so so there's not necessarily a one-size-fits-all but there are a lot of options and that's really really cool so I grew up in the RV industry not grew up in the RV industry I grew up RVing with my parents been in the RV industry for a decade and a half or so and I mostly for the beginning part of you know, being in the RV industry, I was only familiar with one toilet. And that toilet is called a standard residential black tank toilet. So most RVs in America are built with a tank that goes underneath the trailer and it fills up your sewage, right? Sounds kind of gross. And it's a gravity system. So you have a toilet um, that sits on the top of the floor and you literally go do your business, you open up a valve and it drops down into the to down into the tank. And that's the black tank, right? So it's pretty easy to work with. Uh, there's not too many things that can go wrong with a standard toilet. This is what I've been using, like I said, and what I've seen my whole life. And honestly, I don't mind black tanks. Some people think, oh my gosh, that's so gross. If you ever watch Robin Williams, that the movie RV, there's a hilarious scene where he pulls the black tank, it explodes. That's not a, that's not really uh, how it works, but I definitely have gotten uh, feces on my hand, which is gross. You know, when you're emptying black tanks, not usually my trailers, but like random trailers that I would pick up used. I didn't know if they had opened them previously and that kind of can sometimes be tricky. Um, but when it's your own, that, that rarely ever happens. So it's a pretty clean process overall, right? It really is not as bad as people think it is. And it's pretty simple and it just works, right? And there's enough places to dump that sewage anywhere. Any, there's so many places you can dump black tanks. Now, some people have black tanks at their house, at the side of their house, they can dump into them there. And if that's what you have, I mean, honestly, a black tank is probably the best thing for you. The nice thing about the black tank is you can have a large black tank, you know, 25 gallons would be a small black tank. Some, some trailers have, you know, 25, 30, 40, 50 gallon black tanks, which means you can do your duties for a long time before that thing is full. Now, the drawback is once it's full, you gotta, you gotta go somewhere and dump it, right? And clean it out. And it's really not as bad as you think. But some people are like, I don't wanna do that, I wanna do something different. So are there other toilet options? And today, in the world of off-roading, overlanding, outdoors camping, there are a lot of options. There's toilets that are, uh, you can put a toilet seat on a bucket from Home Depot and you can get some coagulant material in a bag and you can throw it in there and you can go on a bucket. Uh, most people don't want to do that one. That's like kind of like the tent tenter's dream. But for RVs, these are some of the toilets that ROA works with on a regular basis. And I want to go over some of them, kind of explain a little bit about it and the pros and the cons and go through that list. So number one, like I said, is the standard traditional black tank toilet. Pro is large tanks, super easy to use, really hardly anything that can fail on it. Con might be draining it, finding a place to empty it from time to time and cleaning it out. All toilets require cleaning out, but that's one of the uh, biggest complaints that you'll hear is just finding a place to dump the black tank. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is the dry flush. Now I'm gonna just mostly be talking about our brands and, and I do want you to know we have gone through multiple brands 
and some of the brands are not good and some of them are good and we've kind of settled on the ones that we like that have the least amount of problems. So the next one is called a dry flush toilet. That's a Lavio toilet. This toilet is probably my wife's favorite toilet. I like it too. It, I don't know if I would say it's my favorite toilet, but it's definitely high up there on the list. Um, the pros about this one is you don't have to take it to a black tank or, or to a, uh, a station where you have to dump it, right? It, what it is, it's a, it's a bag. It's a giant bag. Um, a lot of people say it's like a diaper genie uh, where you like it, it twists the 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 doo doo that you put into it. So essentially it's a giant bag. You go to the bathroom in it. Um, you also can throw in this powder. It's a coagulant powder. Are you going to finish that croissant? Knock yourself out that you throw in there so your urine when you actually pee in it it turns into like gelatin right so it's not all like leaky and runny and it and then it twists it into a bag and then it, it sucks it down right kind of vacuums it down and then you keep on going and it keeps on twisting and pushing it down and this toilet it's really cool because you can use feminine products you can throw feminine products in there you can throw wipes like baby wipes you can throw Probably not toothpicks. I was about to say toothbrushes and toothpicks, but probably shouldn't be toothpicks. That might poke a hole in it. But like I did a video where I threw like a Coca-Cola can, a rubber ducky, toilet paper, all kinds of stuff in there. It, literally, you can throw anything in this toilet and it just wraps it into this uh, bag. And then once it's full, you have to pull it out and then you go and dump it. Uh, a lot of people are like, well, can you just dump it anywhere? It, like not on the ground, but in a trash can? Yes, like it's like, it's like your baby's kid's diapers, right? Like, say, like, if a baby poops in a diaper, you put the diaper in a trash bag and you throw it in the trash. There's nothing wrong with, you know, throwing that stuff into a trash can. That's totally okay. Some people think it's gross and they don't like it. The biggest con about this toilet is honestly the cost of the cartridges. And um, sometimes, uh, sometimes it feels kind of weird, like throwing it in certain dumpsters. I try to find like uh, forest dumpster stations and just our trash cans and I don't feel too bad but you know like it just depends on it sometimes it's a little bit of a nuisance to try to find a place to dump it but that's the same issue with all these toilets except for maybe two of them so that's the dry flush lavio toilet the next toilet I want to talk about is a composting toilet I don't know if you're familiar with the composting toilets and what it is is there's a urine tank on the front of this toilet and you have to go number one into the tank, which then gets pulled out and drained as it gets full. And then the back behind it actually has a big tank. I, I, I don't know the exact size of it. It's a few gallons. Um, but you actually throw in uh, some sort of composting material like peat moss or coconut shavings. I use peat moss. And essentially you go number two into that one you know, and you, you, your number two goes in there and your toilet paper goes in there. And then you mix, there's a little mixer and a fan um, that it's connected to and you just mix it a couple times. And then the fan dries that out and it essentially turns it into a fer fertilizer, like manure. The really cool thing about this toilet is if you're a single person, you can easily go a month without having to dump this, especially if you get a little strategic about how you use your toilet paper. You know, some people will have a little trash can next to them and you know their first wipe they might throw in there but their next couple wipes they'll throw in the in a little trash bag and then tie it up and throw it away just the toilet paper is what i'm saying and if you do that then you could potentially go a month or two without having to empty this and so by far this this toilet is the cheapest because all you have to do is have peat moss essentially to fill that up and this toilet definitely will extend your off-grid capability longer than any other toilet i mean the other ones with the bags I mean, if you just have a bunch of refills, obviously you can stay off grid as long as you want. But this one, without having to change anything, you'll be able to do the most dumps <laughs> into this toilet without having to empty or get rid of it. I'm less, I have used this toilet. Um, we just did a, uh, about a 2000 mile, I think it was a 2000 mile trip uh, over almost two weeks and it was a composting toilet. Um, that's what's in our Romer X trailer. I actually like it a lot. Um, and the cool thing about it is, well, I've now camped in that trailer half a dozen times and I've used the toilet half a dozen times and it's still the same peat moss and the same doo-doo in that toilet from the very first trip. 
and it's it's odorless it doesn't smell i mix it and it's just it's just turning into compost in there and i potentially won't have to dump it until later in the fall so some people depending on your camping style you might be able to use this fill it up get it set up in the spring and go on all of your camping trips and never empty it the whole entire summer. The, the urine tank you do have to empty more frequently, just depends on, on how much you urinate, obviously. Sorry, I know this is kind of a gross topic, but this is, this is a campfire topic that all campers have because they always talk about emptying their toilets and this toilet and what do you do and what do you use? So this is just something, it, it is what it is. Anyway, moving from the composting toilet on down to uh, another toilet called the separate toilet. Separate toilet is very similar to the Labio toilet. It has the bags, but it, the, the difference is instead of composting, so it's, it's kind of more like the composting toilet, but also the Labio toilet combined. So it has the urine tank that is that you go to the bathroom number one in, but then it has the bag area in the back that you do number two in. So you separate the urine from the bag. And it's kind of smart because one of the biggest complaints about the Lavio toilet is sometimes the urine fills it up too fast. So my, myself personally, when I'm out camping, I try to go outside in the woods and let my wife and my daughter use the Lavio inside because uh, because it fills up too fast, right? With the, the separate, the cool thing about that one is you're not filling up your urine into the area where your number two goes and so you, you don't actually have to change out the bags as frequently you you do have to take out the urine and empty that similar to the composting toilet a little bit different we've used these toilets um all of these toilets that we've used are very good reputable companies um great brands and a lot of our roamers um are, which are the owners of the trailers that we sell a lot of them are using these toilets the roamer one comes with a lavio which is the dry flush the roamer x comes with a composting toilet and the pause comes with a standard black tank now most of our trailers you can actually easily switch out those toilets to any toilet you want. The next toilet that I want to talk about is going to be, hold on, I, I got a list of toilets. By the way, we actually have a, uh, a resource guide that you can go down, you can click on, um, it's going to be in the link below. You just have to put in your information and then you'll be able to download a link and it actually has a guide on everything more, goes into more depth, the pros, the cons, it even goes over the cost of each of these toilets and, and the various different uh, you know maybe cases that you might it goes over and explains more in depth why you might want one versus another another toilet before i get into the mercedes benz of toilets i want to talk about another one and it's called the cassette toilet now this toilet generally we don't install this toilet into people's trailers it usually comes standard in a trailer if it comes standard in a trailer i highly recommend you just keep it because it's a fantastic toilet it, it's it's kind of like a black tank, but the only difference is it uses a cartridge that you actually do your duty in, number one and number two into it. And then this cartridge just slides out and it has a handle, you can throw it on the ground and you can take it away like carry on suitcase, right? You can even travel with it if you really want. I think it will fit into the overhead bin if you want. <laughs> But that toilet is pretty cool because it gives you the ability to essentially very foolproof, not a lot of things to go wrong with it. Most of these toilets are, toilets are pretty foolproof and not a lot of things go wrong with them. But when you do pull this out, you can go find a pit toilet in the National Forest, BLM, and you can just go over and dump it in and then you know slide it back into your trailer. It gives you the ability to stay off grid for a very, very, very long time as well well i would say the toilet that will prevent you from being off grid longer than any other toilet um the, or the shortest amount of time would be uh, the black tank the standard black tank but once again all the trailers that have standard black tanks that we carry we can option them out for any of these toilets that i'm talking to you about now the last toilet i want to talk about is the incinerator <laughs> yes it is what it sounds like it is an incinerator it burns your poo it turns it to this toilet is pretty cool. This might be my favorite toilet. I actually haven't used this toilet as much as all of these other toilets. All of these other toilets I have used dozens to hundreds of times. Um, the incinerator I've used a handful of times. Um, and probably the reason is, is because 
I don't have one in my own trailer and usually we only install these by request because they are crazy expensive. They're gonna set you back over five grand just in parts. That's not installed. Four to five grand just to buy the toilet. But once you buy the toilet, you don't ever have to deal with nasty sewage for the rest of your life because it turns your your doo-doos into ash and it is like 99.99% non uh, toxic. You can dump it anywhere in the garbage can, in your fire pit. Once it's turned to ash, it is it is harmless. Uh, you know, it's really, really, really cool. Now, the urine, well, you go into the same area that you do your doo-doo and it just evaporates it into the air. That's what happens when you burn, you know, water. It just psh, evaporates and goes up it completely burns, has a catalytic converter on it too. The old ones used to not, so it, it's it's really odorless while it burns. You don't smell it. I've never smelt it. It's a really, really cool toilet. Uh, like I said, it's pretty expensive. There are other, we use a company called Cinderella, which is the only one we would recommend. We used to use EcoJohns and they they broke like constantly. It's crazy. Like we, 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 we ordered like dozens of these toilets Four people and we started it became very popular we started installing them and then they were all breaking it and we called eco john we're like these are all breaking and they're like well in shipping they might uh things might break we're like we're putting them in rvs and we told you we were putting them in rvs i talked to the owner i said yeah we're gonna install these in rvs yeah that's a great that's a great use for them and they didn't warranty them they, so we had like <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars in broken toilets here. Anyway, so I definitely would stay away from Eco John. Cinderella has the best reputation. They're, they have accolades worldwide for building the best incinerator toilet in the world. UL rated, all of the things that you want to be when you're dealing with fires and flames and gas. Uh, so uh, that's an awesome toilet. That is definitely the coolest, the most wow toilet on the market and honestly once you use it everybody that has one is like oh my gosh this is the most amazing thing i've ever had and and they absolutely love it the other toilets are also very very good but you know you, you get what you pay for like the lavio is barely a thousand dollars incinerators closer to five grand four or five grand with for the parts so uh you want more information like i said go to the link below there we have a, a huge article uh, multiple pages that goes into each toilet in depth telling you all like the cost breakdown and the pros and the cons and just giving you more information. You can download that and save it. And, you know, as you go out and look for your perfect trailer, you can, you know, have this as a guide to help you on the perfect toilet that will go into your perfect trailer. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go down to the link and check out that downloadable PDF. Um, and hopefully that is valuable to you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.